Chapter 5 Science and Technology Pronunciation Practice Sentences with long E vowels We feed three monkeys. We need to see the team. Steve and Pete will not eat red meat. A thief will steal these jeeps. Feed the seal meat in a pea. Read these trip deals. Eve, do you see a seed? The vet will heal the pet's heel. Keep Steve on the team, Zeke. The beam is seen by the wet team. Reading 17 Computers Today, computers are everywhere. They are in our cars, in our houses, and in our hands. They help us talk to each other, they tell us how to get to new places, and they can play music and movies for us. However, not too long ago, computers were very different. The first computer was made more than 70 years ago. It was called ENIAC. ENIAC was very different from the computers we know today. First, it was as big as a very big room. Second, it was very slow. It took ENIAC all day to do something that your phone's computer can now do in one second. As computers became smaller and smaller, they also became faster and faster. By the 1980s, computers were small, fast, and cheap enough. So people started to buy them, but most people didn't know what to use their computer for. When the Internet was made, it changed everyone's way of thinking about computers. When computers could talk to each other, people found a lot of ways to use them. Because of that, life has changed for most people around the world. Now we talk, listen, learn, work, shop, watch movies, and play on computers. Reading 18 Green Energy For a long time, people used wood in fires to stay warm and to make food. Wood is easy to get and use, but wood burns too quickly and trees grow much too slowly. Other old ways of making energy, like using oil, are not renewable. When we have used all of it, we cannot get more. It is also not clean. Burning wood and oil can also make people and animals sick. When we burn things, we do not help to keep our world clean. We must find other, cleaner ways to get the energy we need. For many years, people have been looking for newer and better ways to make energy. We call this kind of energy green energy. Green energy is clean and renewable. We can make energy from sunlight. We will never run out of the sun. Green energy also comes from water. Some countries are very good at using renewable energy. In 2016, up to 95% of the energy made in Portugal, not energy used in cars, was renewable. In 2015, more than half of the world's electricity was green. Many people think that by 2050, all of the world's energy could be green. Reading 19 Reading Faces Wouldn't it be great if we didn't need to carry money? If we could just smile at a computer to buy things? If we did not have to carry things to show who we are? Face-reading computers are already a part of life in some places in China. The Chinese company Face++ uses face-reading computers to let people send money, call a taxi, and buy train tickets. The police in some cities use Face++ computers to look for bad people who are walking around a city. Over the past few years, computers have become very good at telling who a person is by looking at their face. They are so good that this is now used on some phones to stop other people from using your phone. Soon, face-reading computers will be used in most banks, shops, and train stations. Not everyone is happy with this. They think that we do not need computers looking at our faces all the time. They say it's important for people to be left alone. If computers are always looking at us, people can't relax. Also, who is looking at the computers, and why do they want to know what we are doing? Reading 20 Robot Helpers Walk into the train station at Tokyo's Haneda Airport and you will see something unusual. 
The worker who tells you where to go is a 1.2 meter robot named Pepper. Pepper is one of the first robot helpers in the country. It was made to be used in homes and workplaces to help people. Many people believe that soon we will all have robots like Pepper in our homes and workplaces. These robot helpers will do many different jobs for us. They will get food ready, clean, open the door, go shopping, and help older people who need looking after. They will make our lives easier and give us more time to do other things. In many homes today, there are already floor cleaning robots and robots that turn lights on. Others have friendly robots to play with children and keep people happy. Some cars now are really becoming just big robots that can drive us around. Some people do not like the idea of robot helpers. They think that robots will never do as good a job as a person does. Maybe these people will change their way of thinking when they see how helpful robot helpers can be.